Hey, what's up everybody? It's Flux with FluxWithIt.com. Today we're going to check out the Mutant Hot Glue from Hexinverter.net. So let's check out what this module is all about. It's Mutant Hot Glue. Why is it Mutant Hot Glue? Basically, hot is standing for the flavors of distortion that we're getting for this and glue is for the compressor in this. What's really great about this module is not only is it a four channel mixer, but it's also an effects send and return loop. It's a distortion module, it's a compressor, and it's also got uh, sidechain input on it. I mean, you know, lots of blend controls. You can really dive in and do some great work with this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and send a uh, Dave Smith Instruments Tempest into this with some pretty, uh, pretty regular style drums into it. And then we're gonna kind of play with it and see what different sounds that we're getting. And then later on, I'll do a video showing different synth sounds going through this as well. I'm just using, uh, just a Dave Smith Instruments Tempest going into an Anamodule line amp to kind of boost the CV levels. Um, this will allow me to boost the audio level into CV level, so if I want to do some other things, I can do that. So, again, we have our A input, B input. B input is actually one and two, so you can plug a stereo input into there or two different channels. Uh, C input, D input, and then down here you have effects sends, okay? and your return level down here. Compressor is over here with your gain, your, uh, you know, your, your boost for your compressor is over here. Then you've got a dry and wet blend. The LED here will show you the amount of gain reduction that's going on by the compressor. We have a threshold, a ratio for compression. Then down here we have our distortion module, which is a more refined version of the battery acid distortion. You've got a dry wet blend and an amount of distortion. This little trim pot we can get into later, that's for calibrating your uh, distortion. Uh, down here, we got our side chain input for the compressor. You can send individual input into your compressor here. You can also do the same with the distortion. You've got an input here, a distortion CV, and then a dedicated distortion out. You've got dedicated mix outputs. So a lot of flexibility there. Let's go ahead and play this and uh, we'll get our levels right and then I'll check it out. Okay, so this is our dry signal now. And what we're going to do is we're going to send in a little bit of the distortion first. And just let's just take a listen to the distortion. We'll go to wet here. Okay, I'm going to send some signal. And then bring up the distortion. and bring up the return level. One thing that we can do here is we can actually send uh, a sidechain input into there as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send uh, just a kick drum from the Tempest uh, out into the distortion CV and we'll take a listen to it that way.
So definitely fun to do that. Now, there's more than just one type of distortion in this module. What's cool about this is you can actually use the gain of the compressor to distort it as well, just like an old style analog compressor because this is an analog compression uh, module on here. So we can actually distort that. Let's take a listen to how the distortion of the compressor circuit works when overdriven. Okay, so you get a whole different, whole different tone of distortion out of the module by doing that. Now, let's uh, take a listen to how the compression actually sounds on a complete drum setup like this. Now we're about halfway up, we're at 12 o'clock on the ratio, and you can play with your threshold amount as well, and you can really get uh, some, some interesting compression out of this. Now if I blend this back to dry, we can get a mix of dry and wet signal on the compression. Let's bring that compression all the way up and really squash it. And mix it halfway. Okay, so you can hear that it, you can really squash your sound up with that and get some interesting sounds. A um, few points on that is the behind the module if you flip it over there's a lot of different options that you have back there you've got actually a fast medium and slow setting for your compressor now you can switch between those with a jumper and the capacitors that you have soldered in there will dictate what the speed of the compression is for attack and release okay uh, right now i have this set to medium so you can actually go faster than this or slower than this and in addition to that, what I did when I built this, this is the DIY kit. When I built this module, I actually put, uh, I put headers on there so that I can kind of play with it. And I used the capacitors that are suggested in the build on this. But if you choose, you can change the capacitor values around and get different times and just kind of play with it and see about you know, maybe you want a slightly different tone, maybe you want a slightly different speed and character to the module, uh, and you can play with those capacitors and get different sounds. Maybe you want to build your own little DIY breakout module so that you can select between the speeds. You could certainly do that by connecting to that jumper as well. So a lot of possibilities on the back end of the module as well, as long, you know, as well as, um, adjusting your calibration for your distortion. Maybe you want the distortion to be more gritty. You can certainly do that as well because you can adjust the symmetry for it. So we'll dive deeper into a few other things later on. Um, but just wanted to give you guys a quick overview of the mutant hot glue. We'll get into the send and return uh, later and I'll also get into some synth signals and kind of show you how the different functions on this module work. Again, this is Flux of FluxWithIt.com, checking out the mutant hot glue from hexinverter.net. Peace.